This is a story about a man named Eddie. And it begins at the end with Eddie dying in the sun. strange to start a story with an ending. But all endings are also beginnings. We just don't know it at the time. Down to give it back to you, huh? That's what I thought. Okay. Love this balloon. And hold tight to it. Thanks, Eddie Maintenance. That's Eddie. But your shirt says, Eddie Maintenance. Well, Eddie is my name. Maintenance is, uh, is my job. This is just a shirt. You have a cool job. Yeah. Well, go catch up with your father. Years ago, people thought of Ruby Pier as a magical and mysterious place. Once even Eddie felt that way. Today, Pop. I don't know, Eddie. Whatever's broke. How are you, Ben? Hey, Gracie. How's tricks? Okay. Yeah. Hiya, Eddie. Why, watch the kid for me, will you? Sure. How long are you gonna be? Not long. Come on, Eddie. You wanna fix something for me? Yet. But it's new, Pop. Where's your brother? I don't know. We'll find him. What is it with you two? You're supposed to be here by now. What the hell happened to you? These guys that took my jacket. There were four of them, Pop. Could have taken two, but there were four. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Take care of it! Wait. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, but... 
Not again. Look at you. Look at you, you're bleeding. Get him then? What are you talking about? You put him up to this. I asked you. Did you get him? Yeah. Hey, boy. Honestly, this fighting has to stop. You want to grow up to be an engineer, do you? Well, how are you going to be an engineer when your hands are busted up, huh? That is too dumb to be an engineer. Hey, careful! Knock it off! You too! This war in Europe keeps up, you'll be lucky you'll get a crappy job like mine. The last hour of Eddie's life was spent like all the others. Children liked Eddie. Teenagers gave him headaches. Knock it off. What do you think you're doing? It ain't safe. You know what they threw in there, Jason? Clean it up. That's the piece that makes it work, watch. Yeah. Yeah, like that. And then... It's a rabbit. Yeah, rabbit. Thank you. Go show your mother what you got. ride at Ruby Pier once a week to be certain they were safe. He had done it for so long he could almost hear trouble coming in the spits and sputters of the engines and the brakes. Often he thought this was no way for a man to grow old. But this was his life. Eddie Maintenance, they called him and a maintenance man he was. Can I go now, Pop? Is it fixed? It's fixed. Mr. Shea. You got any spare change you might not be putting a toy on there. It was my last nickel. 
You seen your father then? Mm -mm. We were in the war together. Here's the thing about the war. You don't think. You just shoot and you shoot. And then you pray you come home. Just a thinking that gets you killed. Ball. Whoa! How does he do it, folks? Huh? Greatest show on earth. Watch him, buddy boys, and you will be amazed. Excuse me. Excuse me. What? Um, my friend and I were looking for some of those lemon fizzes. Yeah, it's just right over there by the kerosene. But that stain's closed already. Oh. But I can fix that. <laughs> Do you have a key for all the food stands? I got a key for everything. I'll well, be honest, they're my pop's keys. He's the maintenance. He fixes stuff here. I'm just helping him out to save up enough money for engineering school. After the army, of course. Oh, you enlisted? Yeah, last week. Gotta do my part. Well, I better get back. My friends will think I swam off into the ocean or something. <laughs> Souvenir. I don't... I don't know your name. Marguerite. I'm Eddie. Thanks for the fizz, Teddy. The birthday boy. Happy birthday, boss. Come on, Eddie, live it up. You only have a birthday, what, once a year? Sounds about right. How old are you now? Old. <laughs> Man, I hope I live to be as old as you. Why? Dom. Put the tools in the right spot. Them labels are there for a reason. Hey, don't forget I'm off next week. Me and Maria are going to Miami for our anniversary. You ever been to Miami? Me? I never been anywhere I wasn't shipped with a rifle. Yeah. Let's see. 
Mm, no, I can't. Buy your wife something nice. You sure? Thanks, man. Places, right? I always wanted to do that. I've never been more than five miles from here. Me neither. It's not gonna change. Really? Yeah, I ain't spending the rest of my life at Ruby Beard. Hydraulics, gears. Okay, 
table. Rear paddle, safety marks. Yeah, I got it. Oh, no! Come to me and don't look down. It's the cable. Oh, no! I'll be over in a few moments. <laughs> This is a story about a man named Eddie. But the end of his life was only the beginning. Eddie saw nothing of his final moment on Earth. He felt no pain from his death. All he felt was lightness and calm. As if every hurt he had ever suffered had been washed away. And then he woke up. Look well upon this savage. He is not of the human race. From the farthest corners of the earth, we bring you this tragic soul for your examination.
Hello, Edward. I have been waiting for you. Eddie had seen this man before in his life. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. He didn't know why he was seeing him again. Your body feels like a child, no? You were a child when you knew me. That's why. You start here with the same feelings you had on Earth. You can't talk when you first arrive. It's God's little lesson, I suppose. Helps you listen. Tell me something. The bullwhip. Is it still the fastest roller coaster on earth? Oh. I figured as much. Nothing changes here. And there is no peering down from the clouds, I'm afraid. Yes. You died. An accident. How long ago? A minute, an hour, a thousand years. Where are you? Where do you think? Heaven. There are five people you meet in heaven, Edward. Each one of us was in your life for a reason. People think of heaven as a garden of Eden, mountains, rivers. But what is scenery without solace? This is the greatest gift God can give you, Edward. To understand your life on earth. It is why you are here. When I died, my life was illuminated by five others. And then I came here to wait for you. To tell you my story, which becomes part of yours. Did you ever dance here? <laughs> I never danced with a woman. I was a nervous boy and a nervous man. Everything scared me. What the hell is wrong with you? You're going to pull that feet! A chemist for my 
problem gave me silver nitrate. You know this? Ah, a poison to death. But we were not so smart back then. I drank it, and when it didn't work, I drank more. <laughs> Turned my skin discolored. A side effect. Permanent, I'm afraid. My life as a man was over. My life as a freak had begun. I had many names. Algeria, Tanzania. I had never been to any of those places. It made me feel exotic. <laughs> One summer, I came here. Ruby Pier. <laughs> the ocean, the sand. I could walk in the morning before the customers arrived. I could feel the sea breeze like a normal man. <laughs> I was happy here until the day I died. You see, Edward, this is not your heaven. It's mine. You did. See the boy? See the man in the car? It was only my second time. It was early Saturday morning. I thought, what can happen? Oh. I so loved it, behind the wheel of an automobile. Like a normal man. did that little boy my blood was rushing my heart was not strong and it surrendered the police wrote heart attack on the official papers no one saw no one knew no one pays much notice to a freak even when he dies People just go on with their lives. You see now why you are here, little boy? God help me, mister, I didn't mean it. You dying, I didn't know. Well, how could you know? You were only a child. So now I gotta pay, right? Pay? For my sin. That's what I'm here for, right? Justice. No, 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 no. You are here so I could teach you something. Each one of your five people has one such thing to show you, to illuminate. By the end, what you did not understand in life, you will. Why do I have to wear Joe's shoes? Quiet! Stop wiggling. 
But it's my birthday. I don't want to go. Sometimes you have to do things you don't want to do. I remember this. We have to go to a funeral. Your funeral? But it's my birthday. Hey! What did I say? Huh? What did I say? I said be quiet. And son. did not attract the big crowd that day. It's not fair. It was my own stupidity running out there like that. I should have been the one killed. Not you. Fairness does not govern life and death. If it did, no good man would ever die young. During my time on Earth, People died instead of me, too. The airplane crashes. You should have been on. Fire burns in the building that you left an hour before. There are no random acts. We are all connected. Good comes from it. Good? What good came from this? You died. No. You lived. But I barely knew you. We were strangers. Strangers are just family you have yet to come to know. I am leaving now. I can go on. Wait. Little girl at the pier. I tried to save her. I, I felt her hands. I must have pulled her. I can't remember after that. Did I save her? It was the last thing I did a failure to. I cannot answer that. My life was a waste. No life is a waste. There will be others. Your journey does not end here. Can I ask you where you're going? I'm not. Couldn't sleep. Me neither. When do you think they'll open us up again? I don't know. That's the police. I still can't believe it, you know? I always thought he was too stubborn to die. There was a second heaven for Eddie. Although heaven was not the word he would have chosen.
His body felt older now, stronger. And he ran with the hard, measured steps of a soldier. Typhoid, tetanus, yellow fever. <laughs> you know, I never even did find out what the hell yellow fever was. All them shots for all those diseases, and I still died here anyhow. Healthy as a horse. Doesn't seem right, does it? Could have saved my arm all them pokey needles. Who are you? How do you like them apples? Come on! That was funny! Come on down! Come on up! Ah, uh, you don't want to look down. It'll only make you dizzy. got real old. That's a compliment. <laughs> they explain the rules to you, soldier? I'm dead. You got that right. You're my second person. Got that right, too. Left you your helmet and your old rifle. Not that they're much use to you here. Affirmative. Bet you didn't expect me, huh? <laughs> a lot longer than that to get as pretty as me, you know that? Dog 06, this is Able 06, over. Dog zero 06, if you copy, break squelch twice. Over. Come on, Robozo, you stick pin. Pick it up. It's hot. And I got all this extra stuff to carry. Oh, I'm sorry, Daisy. You got a little stain on your dress there? Is that what Shut it is? your yap! Warned. <laughs> Must be jingle brain. Keep it on that ridge. Oi! <laughs> you can't. What do you mean you can't? We we just gonna sit there? Get up! Hey, get up! Hold on, boy. <laughs> Hold on. Before you go killing anybody, I got a better idea. Give me your pack, Rebozo. Come on. Wait. I'll race you to the captain. I'll carry his pack. Loser's gotta carry it till dark. Okay, Goldilocks, you're on. Are you sure you can do that, Eddie? You ever run up a roller coaster with a sledgehammer? Come on, Bozo. Go. Hey. Right. Safe. 
say your prayers, buddy boy. <laughs> what the hell are you grunts doing? It's a race, Cap. A race that's open ground. On three. One, two. Oh. Oh, look at Eddie go. <laughs> well, he's a carny. Probably walks tightrope, too. the last time you saw me. See, time ain't what you think it is, Ken. Neither is dying. I figure it's like that whole Adam and Eve thing, right? Adam's first night on Earth, when he lays down to sleep, he probably thinks that's it, right? His eyes are closed and the world's over. He's a goner. What does he know from sleep? Next morning, he wakes up. He still has the world, but now he has something else. He has his yesterday. Now you're right. No reason to spit up here. No reason to smoke. Old habits, I guess. Oh, Captain, sir. No reason for that either, but much obliged. Captain. Some kind of mistake going on. I mean, I don't belong here. I lived a nothing life, see? I never went nowhere. I never accomplished anything worth note. Couldn't find a job? No, no, I had a job. A uh, dumb job. I fixed the rides at this amusement park. Ruby Pier. Ruby Pier. That's the place you always used to tell us about, right? We're all gonna go there when the war was done. Free rides with the prettiest ladies in the tunnel of love. That's right. Ever see them boys again? Morton, Smitty. prayers of war. He learned to go days without rest and nights without sleep. He learned how to take a prisoner, but not how to become one. And then one night in the Philippines, he learned that too. Okay, okay. Back to that park, you took that job, then what? Done nothing. I never left. I meant to, but I... Things never worked out. Money. My leg. 
I never really got the war out of my head. Maybe you weren't supposed to. Let's go. Take this one. Everybody. They're losing this war. How desperate do they gotta be using us to do this? Give you some okay war every night. Rats off a sinking ship. How much longer? Not much. I see them digging ditches up the way. Now the oil barrels.
しもちろん Margaret's picture and I make these deals with God, see? I'd say, I'll give you one more week as a soldier. You give me one more week with her. I'll give you one more month in this life. You give me one month in that one. Used to. I stopped the night they shot Rebozo. All I could think about after that was getting out. I was gonna take care of myself if I made it one piece. That never happened, of course. You know, it's the damnedest thing. I'm dead. But I feel, I feel healthy. As strong as I ever was. You still juggle? I can juggle. Huh? Juggle? Juggle? Yeah, hey, let me try. Let me try. Get to Something else, ladies and gents? Hey? Okay. We'll get the one on the left. All right. 
It was war, Eddie. I never stopped thinking about it. My whole life. These dreams. Every soldier has dreams. I could have just run. We didn't have to destroy the whole place. What did you see in those dreams? Hey, Eddie, what you doing? Remember how you got out of there? That bullet got you good. Lost a lot of blood. And them boys patched you up best they could. Those planes firing, I never... I never saw it coming. Everything changed after that. Couldn't run no more. 
I played baseball. I used to swim the ocean like a fish. He didn't stop walking. I just stopped moving. I sort of sat down in my life. I ever tell you I come from a military family? My father was a soldier. His father and his father too. At the dinner table, it was yes, sir, no, sir. All I did was take orders. Then along comes a war. All of a sudden, I'm giving orders. Kids are looking at me for answers. They thought I could keep them alive. You did too, didn't you? Yeah. I couldn't, of course. I mean, hell, I took orders like everyone else. But I thought, if I couldn't keep you alive, at least I could keep you together. In the middle of big war, you grab at them little ideas. We're going home together. That's right. Going home together. Meant a lot, Captain. I hope so. Why do you say that? Because I was the one who shot you. Not you. Not you. Not you. Get it out. No. Not you! <laughs> The story of the tragedy at Ruby Pier was in the newspapers for several days. Then other stories took its place. Pretty tidy for an old guy. Are you surprised? Don't think we'll find any bank statements in there. It's the same apartment Eddie grew up in. I don't know why he never moved out. You'd think he'd want some air conditioning. I think he'd want to change the scenery. There's the soldier boy. Hey, Eddie. Happy birthday, son. Here's your cake. Yeah. Well, Eddie, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Eddie. Happy birthday, Eddie. Joe, you got matches. There you go. Good job. All right, son. So it looks pretty good, all things considered, don't he, Pop? Really good, son. Really good, Eddie. You bastard! Did you do that? I could to do that. Get it out. My leg. My leg. My life. Get it out. My life. Why? I had to. Why? 
What? What? I took your leg to save your life. You would have died in that fire. You were obsessed. You damn near knocked Morton unconscious. Another second, you would have been so deep in, none of us could have gotten you. There's nobody in that hut. What was I thinking? I seen it happen a hundred times. A soldier reaches a certain point, and he's done. Sometimes in the dead of night, man will come out of his tent, just start walking. Like he lives around the corner, like he's going home. Why didn't I just die? It wasn't your time to die. I couldn't just let you burn alive. I figured a leg wound would heal. Morton pulled you out of there. And the others got you home. What do you mean, the others? Got me home. Just like I told you, tetanus, yellow fever, all them shots, just a big waste of my time. Look. Lock and check around the curve. Keep an eye out. Hang on, Eddie. Hey, hey, Eddie. Hold on, okay? Hey, we're going home. You wanna go home, don't you? Eddie, look at me. Hey, look at me. Look at me. That's one of us. Hey! I don't remember none of this. I figure what was left of me landed in about a thousand places, including here. This is where you're buried. <laughs> well, that's a fancy way of saying it, but uh, yeah, this was my funeral. Smitty Morton, I never saw them at the hospital. When I got home, I didn't open mail. I didn't ask questions. I just wanted to forget. You've been here all this time? Waiting for you. That's what the blue man said. Well, he was too. But he had something to teach you. And now he's moved on. And I'm fixing to do the same. So, what are you here to do? Sacrifice. I made one, you made one. But you had the wrong idea about yours. You got angry. Kept thinking about what you lost. You didn't get it. Sacrifice ain't something to be ashamed of. It's something to be proud of. People stop sacrificing for one another. They lose what makes them human. It's the noblest thing we do. You lost everything. Well, that's the thing about sacrifice. Sometimes when you think you're losing something, you're really just passing it on to someone else.
forgive me about the lake. That's what I was waiting for. Captain. Yeah? Why this place? I mean, you can choose anywhere to wait, right? Well, I died knowing almost nothing but war. I wanted to see what the world looked like before we started killing each other. Before war. But this is war. Our eyes ain't the same, soldier. This is what I see. By the way, I don't smoke. That was all in your eyes, too. <laughs> Who smokes in heaven? This is yours. Well, good luck. Wait, uh, the little girl at the pier, did I save her? I can't remember, I only felt her hands, little hands. I just want to know that's all. I can't tell you. But someone can.